Hi everyone, it's Donnie. In today's video, I am going to show you how to fix those darn bubbles that you get on your canvas. You haven't seen this one yet, but I have done an unboxing on it and I was quite surprised at how many bubbles I had on this small canvas. This is a 25 by 30 and this is a bit of an impromptu video, so I might make a few mistakes here or there, but we will go with the flow. First of all, I use an X-Acto knife. I picked this up at Walmart. It was very cheap. Um, you can use anything with a sharp blade, um, but I use this just because it is small enough to handle and it's sharp, very sharp. Okay, so I'm going to try and zoom you in on this. As you can see on this canvas here, it's quite wrinkled. And when I saw this, I'm like, oh, I hope that it it's not bubbled underneath. But sure enough, it is. Where you see these wrinkles here, it is wrinkled underneath. So I'm going to pause and try and get you up close enough to where you can see what I'm doing. Okay, that should be good. So, you're going to pull back your cover, of course. As you can see here, there is a lot of bubbles. There's even, let's see, some that I can see through the viewfinder that I didn't see before. I'm going to try and get my light in here a little closer. All right, let's do this one right here because this is a very prominent bubble. Let's see if I can show you from the side angle. It's not wanting to focus. There we go. Okay, so from this angle, you can see how bubbled it is. It's very raised from the surface. And that's what we want to get rid of. So what I do, I take my X-Acto knife here and you don't need a lot of pressure because you don't want to cut through the canvas and it's easy to do. Just, it's easy to just give it a little bit of pressure. You're going to just cut these at an angle. You can see the cuts. And that's just in the adhesive. I'm not cutting the canvas at all. I'm just got to make sure I'm still on the line because it's hard to see the actual bubble from where I am up here, but I can see it from the close up view. So I'm watching the screen. There we go. Make sure I'm getting the bubble. Just go down the line and cut it. Now on a canvas like this, where there is a lot of bubbles, this is going to take quite some time, but sometimes you can, it's so simple and fast when you have just like one bubble, but when it goes all the way across the canvas like this, oh, that's just painful because you have to sit here and do this until they're all cut. So basically what you're doing is you're popping the bubbles. It looks like that one is done, but I'm going to go ahead and finish off these over here. Oop, missed it right here. 
Let me turn it around because I'm running out of room. So the one I did, you can see the marks, this one here. So I need to finish it up over here. Oh, well, actually it looks like there's no more. There's a little bit up here. And there's this one right here. Let's get that one. It actually goes down all the way down here. See, as you can see on the back, I have not cut through the canvas. I just cut the layer of adhesive. Now, it just depends on how big the bubble is on if you need to do this next step. I just take the end of my tweezers and I just gently press it down. I go with the same angle that I cut it so that it's pressing it back into place. Laying it, laying that um, adhesive back down that you just cut because we popped the bubble, but now it needs to just be told where to go. Just a moment here. I have to keep my door open because it's so cold in this house. I just had to let everyone know I'm doing a video. So, obviously, the bigger the bubble, the more um, this is going to be needed. But on the smaller, small, small ones, you may not even need to do this. Okay, come on, focus. There we go. So we can get up here now where we cut. Just lay them down. I mean, you're probably thinking, why can't I just do that without cutting it? Well, because the bubble's still there and it's going to just end up popping back up. Because, you know, before I learned how to do this, that's the only thing I knew to do was to try and push it down and it didn't stay down. So, see, and it retains its stickiness even though I've, <clears throat> I've been rubbing it with the tweezers. See, you know, this one, if you go downward, it's going to just run over the bump. So you have to go at the angle that you cut it. I'm just lifting it up so I can see where I've been and where I haven't been. And then I'll show you. See, I didn't cut this here, so that's not going to stay down. I missed a spot, so I got to get these cut right here. All right, lay it down, and you don't want to scrape too hard because you know you can chance. Um, scraping your adhesive off. Uh, I just started something I haven't finished because this bubble goes all the way down the line. Just checking these spots that I missed. I'll have to do that later to finish it up. But I think there's enough here to show you. Just checking the adhesive. Making sure it's still sticky. Okay. So the spots that I did they're all down now. Wait, this thing doesn't like to focus this close up, does it? Okay, so you can see where I scraped, where I pushed it down. All along here. See at an angle, you can see where it was, where it's been sliced. It's not going to affect your diamond painting because it'll be flat. 
and it's still sticky so your drills will stick just fine. So now let's look at, an at the angle. This kind of looks like a scar. It basically is. We did surgery on it. So let's get over here. Here we go. So as you can see, it's no longer raised. There's no bubble. And it's flat in the areas that I've done. Okay, here we go. You can see, if I pull it down like that, I can't, I can't point at it. Right here, where it's still raised. And up above it is where I did the flattening. And you can see, there's no more bubble. Okay, you can see right there where I've cut it. And if we tilt it, it's flat. But the rest over there is still raised where I haven't cut it yet. And it is staying down. All in that area that has been sliced and rubbed down just like that entire row right there where the scar is that was all sliced and then rubbed down and then compare that to the bubbles that are still up so you can see I've got a lot of work to do on this canvas either that or I just contact the seller and tell them I want a new one but there you go, guys. That's all you have to do to get rid of bubbles on your canvas, big or small. I hope that helps somebody. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, can you please give me a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe. And hit that bell so you can be notified when I make another video. So I'll let you guys go. Have fun diamond painting. See you in the next video and don't forget always to sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Bye.